It's the morning of my spine shortening procedure and I can't believe the day has finally come. It's been so many months of working up to this and I'm just really grateful that I finally made it. I'm a bit nervous, but overall I think I've just been waiting so long that I feel prepared to do this. So yeah, I'm gonna finally be having my surgery and get pain relief and hopefully change my life. About to go back feeling nervous and ready to get this over with. This is probably one of the first surgeries I've had. I've been in this much pain. It's non-stop excruciating no matter what I do. I'm just trying to keep on keeping on and doing the days. And please send me your good vibes. I'm really struggling with my physical well-being. Hello there. After that nightmare of a session with PT, not because PT is bad, because that is my favorite PT lady. She's so funny and nice, but it was very painful. One of the hardest parts for me, they took out some ribs, is breathing. So when I breathe, it gives me this spasmy feeling in my stomach. Um, they were not able to take the paddle out during the surgery, but they were able to do everything else. Right now, I'm just super sore. Um, I have a memory that lasts maybe five minutes. People have come over, talked to me, um, I've watched videos, and then an hour later watched them again, and I had no recollection of them, but I'm also on, am I on fentanyl? I'm on fentanyl, so that's just making my memory go down the drain. But maybe that's a good thing, I won't remember any of this. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Too. So that kind of gives you like that input of like your spine, like it'll give you some comfort. Hi there, been in super rough shape. Going on day, I don't know, three or four. Um, I have a lung that is one third collapse and I'm having a hard time moving at all. So it's been um, pretty scary. Um, I can't tolerate moving much because of the pain. So whenever they have to test me, like, give me an x-ray. They have to lift my body up cause me to scream. It's definitely been the hardest surgery I've ever gone through. Um, having my lung be uh, partially collapsed has been so painful. I have to wear this 24 seven to give me the right amount of oxygen. But I'm pushing on, I keep pushing on. Thank you all for the love. Day four, naked and afraid. <laughs> Not so naked, kind of afraid. Today is day four of being in the ICU at the hospital. Um, so update, I had a couple bad, pretty bad rough days. Today though, I was able to roll over pretty quickly with no tears. We figured out the proper way to do that for me. They have to take chest x-rays of me about twice a day. 
So that first day of them having to put a paddle under my back was pretty ugly. It was, I was basically screaming because it hurt so bad. But today I was able to just roll to one side, put the board under me, and then slowly but surely, at my own pace, I was able to get myself all the way back over. Because I have a pneumothorax. What's that? Part of your lung is collapsed. So that's a fun addition to spinal surgery. So yeah, now I have a vertebrae out and my lungs collapse. <laughs> Final words are Okay, this is our setup. It's a pillowcase to eat because we have French toast with syrup and it drips all over the sheets and clean pajamas. I have to wear this so my oxygen doesn't go down. Yes. And it has some holes in it so I can put a straw in it, but it's a little bit different for eating. Got to pull it up for eating, right? Alright, bon appetit. What do I pick, uh, the ice cream or the bachelor or oxygen? Oh, I'm not gonna work with all of it. Cheers. rough day full of so many setbacks and literally an hour ago I was just so defeated because I was able to do a lot in PT yesterday and not so much today because of some med changes and then my dad came to visit and he brought your present and I'm just so grateful to have you as a friend because that was amazing if I was to put together a present for somebody in the hospital with goodies that would be exactly it. I mean, you nailed it. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to have you in my life and I can't wait to give you a COVID air free hug the second we meet when I'm done here. I love you so much. Thank you again.
these cigars and bars I have. I have fresh bars in my rod and this is just this mess just poking it. It's so bad. Couple days into the hospital and had a really rough morning. I could not roll from side to side, even though yesterday I could easily roll myself by myself and even transfer into a chair. So today has been bawling all day and we're gonna try to figure out the medication that we can add on. Um, so yeah, that's my daily update. Feeling like crap, but I have a little bit more meds in me and feeling a tiny bit better. I'm not sobbing anymore, so that's good. <laughs> I feel a lot less like death without the brace on, so thank God for that. Oh, I appreciate it. Hi guys, it's day six and this is post um, occupational therapy and I had a blast. It hurt like hell. My entire spine felt like it was being crushed, although it wasn't, but I made the OT and PTs laugh with my inappropriate sense of humor. So, you know, that's a plus in my book. One for Claire, 10,000 for back pain, but it's all right. See y'all later. I had the honor of having one of my favorite acupuncturists do Reiki on me. She did a few needles in my ear and then spent the next 45 minutes channeling that energy through my body. And guys, I started in so much pain that I could barely lay down. And now I'm so calm and relaxed and completely grateful that my hospital provides these services. If your hospital provides these services, I definitely recommend it. If this is your child that's going through it and they're scared of needles, that's no problem because Reiki doesn't involve needles. You just channel the energy through the body and wow, I feel great.